Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Oregon North Coast has a long history of clamming, and many residents care very deeply about their ability to harvest a variety of clam species for use as both bait and food. Recently, however, concerns have been raised over not only the sustainability of clam populations in the Bay, particularly in the face of climate change, but also the ability for all parties to equitably access the clam populations on the North Coast, specifically in Tillamook Bay, where the majority of clamming takes place. Based off of the hearings in this bill, the feedback provided by ODFW, Chief Sponsor Senator Johnson, and constituents directly involved in both commercial and recreational clamming, I feel that this bill is fully representative of the interests of all stakeholders. This bill will create a Tillamook Bay Clamming Advisory Committee. The committee will convene stakeholders and provide a forum for them to develop rules that preserve and allocate the clam stocks for all parties moving forward, as well as to provide an opening to discuss studies of bay clam populations at more regular intervals so that the decisions can be made for the most solid, scientific, and fair position possible. It is my hope that we will prevent the escalation of conflict and preserve the sustainability of clam stocks on the North Coast. I would also like to acknowledge that Barbara Trout from Representative Witt's office, um, who is a constituent of mine from Rockaway Beach, she was the true inspiration and impetus for this bill. She worked hard out on the coast here and here in the Capitol to see this bill through the legislative process, so I really appreciate her uh, contributions to this bill as well as putting us in touch with other folks in the district. Um, to help get this where it is. I urge an I vote in both this, in this chamber for Senate Bill 1025A.